Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Today's video, it's gonna be a rambling one. And in other news, can you see it? Oh, the light's crazy. Got this thing built. It's just a shell, needs garage doors. I'm gonna do a full build out of it right here next to my house, which is nice. And this will basically be my new headquarters. I'll be able to, I'm planning to put a lift or two in here, work on vehicles, build out the whole thing, insulate it, put a little kind of like living room hangout area back here, kitchenette, maybe build a thing up high. That will all come on the channel. If you have questions about any of this, the building, et cetera, ask them down below. Because I'm planning to do a video, probably a series on the build out of this whole thing because I'm stoked on it. It's like one, it's probably the coolest thing I've had in, in my life. And really excited, but that is not this video. This video is gonna be a rambling video. Uh, it's gonna be talking about basically overlanding. Overlanding, car camping, vehicular adventure, whatever you really wanna call it, it all is kind of encapsulated in taking a cool car and taking it out into the mountains and disconnecting from the hustle and bustle of your daily routine and just enjoying time. I love enjoying time with friends and family. I love going out with my wife and my little baby, but you know, as he gets older, that will be more fun. Or maybe you're more of a loner type and you just want to escape and just have nobody around. It is a great way to do that. Maybe you saw a crazy tricked out Tacoma at the gas station and you're like, that looks cool, I wanna do it. You saw some hippie living out of their van when you went out fly fishing and he's waking up and brewing a cup of coffee on the back of his van or truck or whatever. And you're like, that seems kinda interesting. I wanna, I wanna get into that. So that's kinda what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be part of not really a series, but several videos that I wanna do. I kinda jotted down some topics that I wanna spin through. Uh, one is just like, how do you get into overlanding? That's this video and another will be like uh, choosing a vehicle for, for overlanding or whatever. I have, I have a few of them. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that. I'm actually in the process of kind of selling a couple and getting a couple. I'm not trying to grow my fleet. I have too many vehicles already, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some different stuff. So some advice that I always give, uh, I try to give it all the time. In, in a lot of videos in my Weekender Lander series where, where I just go out and camp and hang out is it doesn't matter what you drive, it doesn't matter what you have. Now, having said that, a lot of you got, well, I have this you know, pretty crazy, crazy 80 series here. This is my main, main adventure vehicle here. This is a Toyo Tacoma. This is decked out, 35 inch Toyo mud terrain tires, full armor, CBI racks, rooftop tent. That's a eye camper sky cam, full like rear swing out, everything. This, this truck is relatively decked out for, for adventure. It's less practical as a daily driver, but I love it. I love everything on that truck. But recently I took this truck out, which is you know, also, also relatively built, but with nothing, I slept in the bed of it. I've taken, I don't have it anymore. The Sequoia is sold. I'm sorry for, for those that wanted to buy it. A bunch of you reached out, but the LX570, this bone stock LX570 replaced it. And I took the Sequoia out before and just slept in the back of it to just kind of express, you don't need all the fancy gizmos to go out and have a good time. So what I recommend, trying to find where I have lighting that isn't, isn't blinding you. What I recommend is take out whatever vehicle you have. If you have a bone stock Subaru Outback, perfect. Forerunner, even better. RAV4, that works great. A Jeep Wrangler, sweet. If you have, you know, like a, a Corvette, it's a little, little tougher, maybe. But I was out on a trail, not a hard trail at all. Mind you, not a hard trail at all. And I saw a Mustang out there. The Mustang had no business out there, but it made it a ways. And they were just out because they wanted to have a good time. And that is what I recommend. Not necessarily destroying your car unless you're you know, whistling diesel or something, but you don't need a crazy tricked out vehicle to go out and experience 
nature. So I would say you probably have a sleeping bag, you maybe have a blow up mattress, you maybe have a ground tent already, but you don't even need those things because again, you can sleep in the bed of your truck. You could just bring the, the bedding from your bed at home and grab a subway on the way out and go have fun. So that's what I always, always recommend as a first step is you go and you do that and you just get out. The absolute best way to start building out your kit, especially if you have any budgetary restrictions, is take almost nothing, you go out, and you see, was that fun? Do I like it? Can I get into this? If it was and you liked it and you could get into it, then you can start thinking about what would have made this trip better. Like it was really dark, I, didn't, I couldn't see what I was doing, so next time I'm gonna buy a headlamp and bring that out. Or I didn't really like using my home silverware, so I'm gonna buy a spork. Uh, or this tent really sucked, it took 30 minutes to set up, so I'm gonna buy a hub tent next time. Or this mattress sucked, I'm gonna get a trifold instead of the blow up. Or, you know, and you kind of start piecing your kit together based on your actual experiences out there. And I think people need to have realistic expectations. I, I am a super busy guy. I have up until relatively recently had a full-time job on top of basically two other full-time jobs. And I'm not, I wasn't the kind of guy that was going out on month-long trips. So I was never building my vehicle for month-long trips. So I think you really need to be realistic with your build. I see a lot of people building the most crazy tricked out vehicles that can sustain themselves for months on end and I, well, A, I don't see them camp at all, and B, at most it's an overnight trip. Uh, and nothing against that, nothing against that. If you wanna build a crazy tricked out truck, I love crazy tricked out trucks. I'm actually planning on making a video like the benefits of having an overland built truck in real life. So there's a lot of benefits to having that kind of stuff, especially when it comes uh, from kind of a prepared mindset. You can use it as a bug out rig or whatever. But you need to be realistic on, on what you're trying to achieve. Do you want to build a cool truck so you can take photos of it on Instagram and flex on all your friends? Sure, but, but be honest with yourself that that's what you're doing. If you just want to keep it minimal and easy, I have a one bin camping solution. Basically, it's a bin that I keep in my Tacoma. It has virtually everything I need. And all I really need to do if I'm just like on a whim, like, you know what, I, I'm i gonna call in a sick day to work tomorrow and I'm just gonna go camping right now after work, grab the bin, go out, and then you're free to go. That is a lot easier when you have a rooftop tent or something like that. But simplify it if the, if the goal is to get out and just get out, then don't overcomplicate it and kind of piece together what you need more and more and more. And some examples of this are, you see a bunch of overland vehicles with awnings on them. I almost never use awnings. But if I was somewhere that it rained a lot, if I was somewhere where the sun was just beating down on me a lot, an awning would make more sense. So you go out and you're like, oh man, this rain really ruined my trip. I didn't even have a place to cook. I didn't even have a place to heat up water without getting drenched an awning would be a good solution for that. And maybe you're like, well, I can't mount an awning, so I need a roof rack, or I didn't have enough room because I got the dogs in the back, and I needed a place to store stuff. So I needed a roof rack, or I needed a hitch mount carrier, or, or whatever. And I just think that is the best way to do it. I just see a lot of people trying to spend too much money uh, just to get out there and realize that what they got is wrong and doesn't really work for them or they don't actually need it and they could have spent money on something else that they would use or they would need. And I just wanted to make a video talking about that because again, I get a lot of emails, I get comments like, I wanna get into this lifestyle, how do I do it? I wanna do this, but I don't have a Toyota Tacoma. Can I still overland? Yeah, absolutely. You can do it in pretty much anything. So this video is kind of just an encouragement to get out there and have fun clean up your trash, that's the only thing you have to do. When you go out there, don't leave trash behind, don't wreck the place, don't shoot up live trees, just be a good person. But it doesn't take a whole lot to go out and have fun. You can, again, bring prepackaged food that you don't even need to cook, I'm all about that. Easy food, make a couple wieners by the campfire, great. So that's kind of that, I just want to encourage you to get out there, 
to have fun, to not overcomplicate it. There are some preparedness items, you know, have, have a spare tire if you're really trying to get out there, have a way to communicate, tell people where you're going, you know, send them some GPS coordinates ahead of time. And then a lot of people are like, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Join a Facebook group, join an off-roading club. So you have a friend that has a rooftop tent, ask him, ask him to take you out with him so you can go out and you can kind of see what he uses and you can get firsthand experience. Watch my videos of camping, Weekender Lander videos. I try to always throw in tips. I try to always give advice in those videos. I try to make them, you know, relatively entertaining, but usually educational as well. There's a lot of other great people, but a lot of people on YouTube, you'll see, and this is not, not a knock on them at all. They're going on, they're going on trips for a month or they live out of their vehicle, or they're sponsored to, to say that you need this thing, or this whatever is a game changer. And most of it isn't. You really do not need much. So absolutely follow those kind of guys. Like an example of that is Clay and Rochelle and their team, Expedition Overland. I love those guys. I love the epic trips that they go on. Insane, beautiful cinematography. I wanna go on a trip with them one day myself, but do not base you getting into just like weekend vehicular camping based on their adventures and their setups because they have a massive amount of logistics involved with everything that they're doing. Use those people as inspiration for yourself Absolutely. And if you do want to plan a month long, you want to live, you want to quit your job, and you want to travel the country for a year, then definitely there's a lot more you can pull from, pull from that kind of stuff. But a lot of stuff you see on YouTube is way, way more than the average person needs. So don't get caught up in, in all of that stuff. Having said that, like I have a fully decked out, this is a Jayco Terrain 4x4 Sprinter, full RV build. I could travel the country and live out of this. I love it. It is fantastic. It, you, if you have the means to get something like this, it will make you, it'll make everything more enjoyable, but you don't need it. You don't need it. You could take out your 2008 LX570 and have a great time. So yeah, this is just a video I'm going to send people when they ask me, I want to get into it, but I don't have XYZ. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Get inspired on YouTube, get inspired uh, by Instagram, but just know a lot of those people, uh, some of them, that's their job. Some of them, they just love building crazy vehicles. Some of them, myself included, I get a lot of stuff for free. Uh, so take all of that into account. Don't think that you need to build my exact same Tacoma. Could you build it and would it be a great vehicle? Absolutely, but you don't need to. So yeah, a few other videos that I wanna do uh, maybe right after this or at least this week uh, or soon. I, sometimes I want to give you guys a little bit of time to, to comment down below so I can kind of integrate your, your feedback into the follow-up video. So hopefully I'll upload this really quick before I film the next one. And I, I just love hearing from you guys, whether it's good or bad, whether it's like, I hate when you do that thing with your mouth, or I love when you do this, or I would love if you did this, or I get a lot out of X, Y, Z. Let me know because I do genuinely, I read all the comments, I genuinely try to take those into account when I'm, when I'm filming videos and creating con and just thinking of, thinking of stuff to, to do that I put on YouTube. But anyway, the next video, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll be a couple videos away. I'm gonna go through my vehicles because I have a plethora of vehicles and I'm just gonna talk kind of about the pros and cons, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, areas that I think they excel, areas that they're not as good, how do they perform more of like, if it was your only vehicle, all that kind of stuff because I figure it makes sense. I have those vehicles. I have a stupid amount of cars. And so that means I have experience with, with all of them. So you can kind of like take everything I say from, you know, me living with the vehicles and hopefully that helps you either choose the direction you take or maybe you're saving up to buy a vehicle that you want to use more for, for overlanding or for camping or whatever. And my input can hopefully help that. But if you got questions about the building, if you've got questions about vehicles, if you got any questions at all, let me know down below and I'll do my best to help you out because I really, the whole reason I even started putting videos on YouTube was to help people with information. So give me questions, give me comments. I'll try to improve everything for you guys. And until next time, 
Take care.